Hi, I wanted to come on today and talk to you about something. This is Diane Dennis with Modern Medicine, Revival of the Ancients. Um, a lot of people know that I am a medical intuitive and people want to know how that happened. Did I get hit over the head or just wake up one day to the knowing? I do have a degree in nursing, so it took me a while to realize that this gift that I had wasn't just an extension of my health um, degree, although medicine, medical degree. However, um, it very well, I think, contributed to it um, in some of my knowing in the way that I come to uh, some of my um, conclusions uh, or um, ways that I, that I read for people. So what happened was, is, is that um, a couple of years ago, I worked on some protocols for emotional healing. We all have wounds and in our wound is hidden our shadow, our pain, um, our pure potential, our gifts, sometimes our genius. And I didn't set out as an intention to come across some fabulous gifts that I could use or step into. I just wanted to heal the emotional ones for my own personal uh, self uh, to, uh, as, a, as a mission for my own evolutionary growth. And this evolutionary leap that actually happened, a part of what I came to was knowing that I could, uh, could see people's illnesses or if they would tell me what their problems were, I could identify them. And it isn't just that I see disease. I don't set out to do that. It is not my desire to walk around telling people they have uh, something that uh, is serious or sad or frightening. Um, but what I am able to do, and the reason I'm telling you about this is not about me, it's for you. But I think if you hear the story, it will be more compelling, uh, a more compelling reason for you to do your own work. And I am willing and hoping to help all of you through that process. So when I healed my emotional wounds, uh, all of a sudden I could see certain things, but not just that I could see that uh, a boy with a backache had a, a kidney stone, which he did, um, or that a woman was misdiagnosed and uh, treated with the wrong medication for something, which I did see, and sent her to another doctor to get a proper treatment and diagnosis what she did. Um, it, isn't just the, it isn't just those things that I found I could do. I could find the, this is what excites me more than anything because this has the potential for us all to heal, not just our emotional wounds, but our physical state, um, which thrills me. And I, that's why I named uh, my company Modern Medicine Revival of the Ancients because going back to the ancient way, shamanism, um, all of the uh, practical uses that were used decades and decades and eons ago before medication became the answer to, uh, or pharmaceuticals became the solution uh, to all problems which we're finding out are leading, it has led to a more dis-ease or discomfort within our bodies and our health. And it's truly has not helped us um, grow our emotional and spiritual self. In fact, it probably has impaired it. But I'm not here to teach, to tell you that or to know that. What I'm here to say is, is that um, when I could found that there was an emotional component to every illness and that by changing our orientation and our emotional makeup, and healing our wounds, emotional wounds, and having an evolutionary leap into our spiritual selves and becoming more of who we are and taking off the mask and bringing our shadow forward. All of that leads, led me and will lead you to the greatest gifts and miracles actually. I call them miracles. So I didn't set out to be a medical intuitive. Um, I found out about it accidentally, and uh, I am uh, happy and um, honored to be able to share my gifts with others and um, in that way help heal people. So I'm here to help you heal your emotional self, dianekdennis.com. 
when you go to that website, I'm going to have some um, workshops that you'll be able to, webinars that you'll be able to attend and begin the process. And that's where it all starts. Right now, this is a perfect time to grow ourselves, to heal ourselves from the inside out. We're still under quarantine as I am um, producing this video. And this gives us the time to go inside. And a, a lot of you are cleaning closets and we're gonna clean our closets, but we're also gonna clean ourselves from the inside out, heal those wounds and um, learn when we are able to enter the real world again into a new normal. We will show up better. We will have more opportunities uh, and more miracles will, will manifest. Uh, just like my medical in intuition manifested after I healed my emotional wounds. Because there's a space. There's a space. When the wound is in existence and lives and breathes, it crowds out and covers up those things that are our best blessings. When they heal, the space is open, the pain is released, and what comes forward is is a beautiful life full of joy and excitement and um, the pure potential to manifest your greatest desires. I'll see you next time. Stay with me.